In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome flash blur effect and that's right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you've opened up Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by dragging two clips onto your timeline. And in my example, you see, I've got this flip of myself doing a side flip. And then we've got this really awesome GV of Manila. So from here, we're just going to select the first video clip. So in my example, that's the flip. We'll go into effects, search for blur, and then we'll go down to directional blur and we'll drag directional blur onto the video clip. Now we'll increase the blur length. And of course we can change the direction of the blur by pulling direction but I'm going to keep this at zero for now. So we'll scroll the cursor towards the very end of the first clip. We'll increase the blur length. In my example, I'm going to select 35. And then we'll pull the cursor back three keyframes. Now we'll change the blur length to zero. And from here, we'll select the second video clip. We'll drag directional blur on the second video clip. And at the very beginning of this second video clip, we'll pull the blur length all the way up to around 70%. Now we'll scroll to the right, maybe five, six or seven keyframes, pull this down to zero, and we've completed the blur part of this transition. Of course, if you want to slow this transition down, then all you have to do is increase the gap between the keyframes on the first clip and the second clip. So we've done the blur part, so we're gonna move on to the flash part of this transition. So in effects, we'll search for levels, and we'll drop levels onto our first video clip. Scroll to the first keyframe that we created on the direction of blur, and we'll create a brand new keyframe on the white input level at 255. Now we'll scroll to the very end of that video clip and we'll pull that all the way down to around 100. And as you see, we've got this really awesome flash effect happening. So we'll drop levels onto the second video clip as well. And at the very beginning of this, we want to pull the white input level down to around 150. Now we'll move across five, six, seven keyframes and we'll pull the white input level back up to 255. Now when we play this back, we've got this really awesome flash blur transition happening. It's really simple, it's really easy. And that's how you do the flash blur transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, Check out the previous video and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.